Card Hunter here. It's January 4th, second day of PRISM release. Had such a freaking wonderful day yesterday. And I'll be honest, it came down to one break, one box, and one player, and wow, what a break. Um, did well, I was thinking about it, would I have still done as well without those two players? Clearly not, but I still would have been happy with where I am in my breaking strategy. I have uh, two breaks today. I have a first off the line Colts four box break. I'm super excited about that. There's so much shiny stuff in that product. Um, probably the last first off the line I'll get to enjoy this year um, in football. Um, I did jump into a Texans fresh case, two box hobby, PYT, a little pricey uh, at 220 for the break. That's 110 a box, but I wanted some Texans. I, I really am going to this going, I want two base cards or one base and one insert base. I just want some freaking CJ, you know, prism cards that I can grade. If I hit anything shiny, woo, we're a happy man. Um, nothing in the mail yet from mail days, which is expected since breaks were just like this wet this weekend and, and yesterday and, and this week. So probably have a good mail day coming next week. I'm not gonna post this video until later anyway. Um, I just wanna kind of share my strategy and document the fact that um, I am over budget. Um, and part of that is, I think this is part of that gambler's mentality. When you're up at the casino, you keep playing because you're winning. Like, well, play a little more, I'm on a hot streak. The difference with cards versus casino is that I feel like I'm up, but I'm not up in cash that I can go out tomorrow and cash in. And if I did, I'd cash in in my opinion at a loss, right? I'm really only up in where I think I'm gonna be when all the chips come in and are sorted. Does that make sense? And that's one of the dangers I'm gonna stress about this breaking is that you cannot count your chips, what, count your money while you're sitting at the table. You can't count your hits while you haven't, um, you know, processed, received, graded, all that stuff. Um, and I guess I am making this video as a mental reminder that this is going to be my last prism break f for at least a few days. <laughs> and what I mean by that is there's so many good things coming up on the horizon that I need to keep some budget and some some powder for uh no huddle footballs coming out um prism megas are coming out prism megas should be an interesting buy with the way blasters were going i have to you know dip my toe in some megas also i just saw today that panini is doing the monopoly nba again in february monopoly nba in february that means when they come out with nba and uh and, and wemby that's gonna be big man now again i feel like you're chasing wemby it's wemby or bust in that product but um Boy, I'm not ready for that. I'm not really ready for it. It's, it's January 4th. Uh, that's six weeks away. And um, I need to think about what we're selling. We gotta get the selling engine going. We got so many things. Gotta get some freaking coal in the fire so we can get some uh, some energy in this place and, and, and get ready, get those. Uh... Wow, I'm just super excited. I really am. Um, and that's why I'm making this video to kind of document doing my, I think, last hobby box breaks of football for a while. I'm gonna look at the megas that are probably possibly this weekend. And going to look at No Huddle, which is next week. I think it's coming out on the 12th, if I'm not mistaken. Which I think it's next Friday. And um, then going to have to pause. Should get cards in, do some mail days. And I'd like to get a submission in the PSA, too, by the end of the month. So they're grading at 15 bucks a card. So hopefully get all this stuff into PSA um, before the end of the month. And get ready for prison, baby. Prison basketball. God, it's going to be such a wonderful 2024. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys are doing well.